Hey guys, it's Slumming Rush. Li last livestream, I had a ton of fun playing low tiers. Now, I haven't made a video in tier 3, I think, ever. So, today, I like I do very well in this tank. I've got a 75% win rate in it. It's been a blast to play. I'm going to be playing the T116. This is, without a doubt, seal clubbing. I do not condone this type of behavior. <laughs> but so uh, we're going to give it a try. I think it's a blast. Okay, we're on the map Himmelsdorf. Now, I don't know how this is going to play out. They've got a triple Panzer 1C platoon. <laughs> I think this is just going to be straight up seal clubbing. We're going to go to the top of the hill because it's balanced matchmaking, right? I should be effectively a pretty quick medium tank, something like a Leopard 1, a tier 10, I think. Um, I could be completely wrong, but that's my estimate of my role in this type of game. So we're going to go to the hill. We're not exactly going to take a bunch of hits, but we're going to try to win the hill. The enemy team is going to have a lot of lights, their PZ1Cs, probably going down the one line or hanging out the mid. And if we get onto the hill, we can actually shoot down onto them. So that that's the freaking idea. <laughs> I hope we have teammates coming with us. I don't know. Well, it looks like we've got an MTL. MTLS, I guess. All of like five tanks coming to the hill with us? Are you kidding? Okay, so I see the Panzer 3E, the M2 medium, the T29 is actually going to the mid or tank alley. We've got three tanks coming with us to the hill. Okay, now a common, I actually think this is a really popular play. What you'll find people do is they'll sit over here when they go to the hill. It's probably, uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, that I think with triple arty on the map Himmelsdorf, it's fine, because the arty shouldn't have the range to hit me. Now, I could be straight up wrong, but normally I wouldn't take this position simply due to arty risks. And actually, they have so much in the mid, I'm just going to move over and shoot at that, because that's easy damage. I think I can get... I never actually do this type of thing, but I think you can get shots from over here on these guys. How am I lit? I'm clearly spotted, but I don't know who lit me here. Okay, so... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's auto-aim this guy. Okay. <laughs> They're chasing me. Okay. Let's turn around and help this MTLS. If we kill this single PZ-1C, we'll be good. That bounced. I'm just going to auto-aim because I don't really have to aim here. Okay. This guy next. Oh, they're penning me. This is gold. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do we win this one? I probably shouldn't have taken this fight, especially with my teammates being so passive. We've just lost the tank alley, so I can do that instead. And I will be above them. I should be hauled down, so the turret armor is probably not going to be reliable here, but I can actually just shoot down into them and present a small target with my turrets. So that should be good enough. Now, yep. That's one. He's now one shot, so that's good. Okay. I may need a gold to pen this guy's side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'll just auto him here because I'm going to watch the BT5. He's now looking at me, but he's, he can't do anything here. Maybe I'll get one more pen. That one bounced. Here's what we'll do. The T29 is probably following this BT5 up. Yeah, there he is. I'm going to look for shots in the T29. Get the kill. Good. Okay, now from here, the score is pretty much tied. They looks looks like they fell off the hill. So there's a bison here. The PZ1C... Yeah, exactly. That's the issue. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> this is just farming. <laughs> okay, where are the PZ1Cs? The PZ1Cs are probably going to pop up somewhere in the mid. There's an M15. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I think from here... <laughs> I I should probably not be in the middle. I'll get yoled by PZ1Cs, but I'm going to do it anyways. I suspect they're going to push up the tank alley. So maybe I can inform my team about that or something like that. So there's already over there. I should really, well, I've got a BT7 already with me. I should really be moving over to the left side of, like the track side of the map. Okay. <laughs> And I, I seriously think those guys are... Well, they will have come down the hill. They might be going to defend the one line. So maybe if I push up the three line, I can I can flank them. I'm also probably overthinking this. This is tier three after all. So there's an M15. That's a medium tank. So basically a heavy at this tier. I'm not spotted. <laughs> and there are the PZ1Cs. So they're pushing tank alley way later than I thought they would. But I can flank this M15. I might need gold. I really don't know. So I've got it secondarily loaded here. Okay, I don't need gold here, so we're just going to shoot AP the second I get the chance. Set him on fire. He shouldn't really have a fire extinguisher at this tier. Okay, and then the PZ1Cs are behind me, and they're 300, so I have to do 300 plus 300, basically. It's about 700 HP on them. 
So they're going to YOLO the bison. I'm going to see if I can support that and then not get YOLO'd. That's the hard part, right? <laughs> the bison hasn't spotted them crossing. That could be because the bison's camping or it could be because they just haven't crossed. So I'm going to not stop here. They're flanking the bison. That's what that means. Or they're going back to base, right? So if they were going back to base, they'd be spotted by this group, but I think they might be flanking the bison. What are they doing? Where could these guys have gone? <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> well, they're going to have to go back to base. So I'm going to YOLO into them because I'm a damage farmer and I want that shit. Oh, they just deleted the freaking bison. Now they have to go back to base. So I can probably chase. Are they going to stop? It doesn't look like they're stopping. It looks like one of the pieces. Oh, they're stopping. I don't care. <laughs> I should just fall back and get hauled down because we've won this game. Okay, they'll kill me, but I'll get damage. Good, there we go. All right, and we won the game. That was 1,100 damage. <laughs> this is a blast. Let's go again. <laughs> so quick look at the end plates. That's 1,100 damage, three kills. <laughs> I did, uh, well, there's, there's no sense showing off right there. I got a message. What's he saying? Oh, I'll, I'll check it after this one. <laughs> oh my lord. So we got Himmelsdorf twice in a row. This is once again an all tier 3 game. I actually think I really enjoy this matchmaking. Being uh, fairly tiered is definitely a plus. So where are we going to go? I think Hill again? Well, what did I learn from last game? They sent their fastest tanks to the hill. They don't really have fast tanks. So if I go to the hill, I'll probably be there. There won't be much there. I can probably just win the hill and then shoot down onto people. To me, that simple tactic is going to set us up really nicely to win the game. One thing, sometimes I'll mentor people and they don't realize how useful the hill is. Um, it's really useful for resetting the cap because you can actually sit right up here or right up here. And uh, both positions give you really good shots down into the your side of the map basically so you do want to take the hill if you can get away with it it's not necessary to win the game by any stretch of the imagination you can push the tracks or you can push the a-line but uh well so we've got a bunch of locusts coming up here that's another really popular seal clubber tank i think because it's like 800 gold i suspect they will be ahead of us there's an amx 38 <laughs> I haven't seen that tank in years. Holy shit. I think when I originally wanted the ELC AMX, that's that's when I played that tank, and god, it was terrible. <laughs> there. There you go. So we've got lots of shots onto the three line. Those M3 stewards should just be in the open, and if you look, they haven't really sent anything up here. We just win the hill. And from here... <laughs> tier 5. Tier 3, man. This isn't even tier 5. <laughs> These shots should be pretty pretty easy to make work. Maybe not. They're actually surprised. I should get a shot here if someone got lit. There's a Panzer 3E. The gun handling is the weakness. That one bounced. Okay, that one didn't pen. Here's what we'll do. Our team's pushing the zero line. I should have really easy shots in this 3E right here. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> okay, I might need gold to snipe this guy at a distance. We're just going to do that. Looking at the map, we're fine. And these shots are just going in. It's no issue. Okay. The zero line's still fine. He's pushing. So that's the right play for him. You know what? We're... Oh, there's 30. I should be able to get the kill here. That one missed. Okay, get the kill. Now, our team's definitely doing a good job pushing down the hill. The problem is I'm not doing too much from this position, right? So I have shots here. I'll take those, and then we're going to YOLO down the hill and just push that. Okay. <laughs> I thought he would fall back. He didn't. How are we doing, actually? I could go support the hill. I can actually show you how that works, but I think the best play for me right now... See, I was thinking if I go back here, I do have shots on the three line, but I can just push into the M5 Stewart and GRTR. <laughs> <laughs> it should be pretty easy, so. Oh yes, this is this is what I was looking for. We're not shooting gold for this on the boof shit, but. <laughs> okay, we're going to chase this guy down, and then we're going to make a beeline to our base, because that's where the damage is. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, there's an M5, it's M3 steering. Holy crap, so that game was another five kills. <laughs> what is this shit? It's just so easy. Holy crap. <laughs> if you've ever tired of tier 10, I cannot recommend tier 3 enough. That was an absolute blast. Definitely not a serious video, but uh, that was another five kills. I don't think you can get a, get a top gun at this tier. Let's read the messages. <laughs> All right, so I'm not actually going to show the messages. I've read them. They're not worth showing. That was 669 damage. This game is easy mode at this tier. Freaking wild. I didn't come first place on damage for this one. Probably would have had more if I'd pushed down the hill, actually, because I would have been more aggressive fighting more stuff. This thing isn't the best at sniping. But learning the limitations of your tank and how to play at the tier come with practice. I'm still winning 83% of my six games. And, like, these games are... Uh, well, you saw a thousand damage pretty easily done. I wanted to thank Ridge Wallets for sponsoring this video, and uh, after that, the video will be over. So thanks for watching. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. Now, Ridge has been a sponsor of my channel for ages, mainly because they actually pay me a shitload of money to do these videos, but I also use their products on a daily basis. You can see right here, I've actually got the wallet I use in real life. This is my carbon fiber Ridge wallet. This thing's kind of expensive, but um, I've had it for like, a year now and I expected there to be quality issues with carbon fiber because carbon fiber is so light and literally I've had this thing for super long and it hasn't scratched there's no scratches on it whatsoever they also have sent me a Damascus steel wallet which is so expensive I'm actually scared to use it but it's pretty wild it looks amazing I would suggest getting this over carbon fiber if you can afford either I can't I'm lucky with my job they also sent me their backpack and this is another product I use of theirs on a regular basis you can see this is a photo of me on Mount Rundle this is supposed to be an eight-hour hike for us we got lost it turned into a 12-hour hike and uh, the whole time I wore the backpack no issues at all and I had a blast doing it so if you want to get these for yourself you can do so by clicking the link in the video description use the code lemming for 10% off it also ensures that I keep getting paid by them. That concludes the ad. Let's get right back into the video. <laughs> All right, so that's the video. If you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button, and I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.